am Dr. Shrujit Ghosh. Welcome to my channel, Dr. Ghosh Presents. Shine symptoms and uses of homeo remedy, sulfur. Full name, sulfur. Common name, flower of sulfur. Source, element, chemical kingdom. Therapeutic use of sulfur. Uses of sulfur, warm infestation, vertigo, skin affection, chest affection, rheumatism, neuralgia, gout, menstrual disorder, liver affection, headache, piles, fever, epilepsy, aneurysis, eye affections, dysentery, diarrhea, cough, boil, nervous affection, asthma, acne, and so on. Actually, many other diseases also uh, are covered by sulfur. Sulfur is a great, great, one of the greatest remedy in homeopathy, you can say. Spheres of action of sulfur. It acts upon nervous system, skin, portal system, venous capillary system, mucous membrane, mucocutaneous junctions, and so on. Temperament, nervous, hot or chilly, hot. Mental journals of sulfur. Ragged philosopher. This has been term has been coined by Dr. Herring. Want to know who created the art, how it is moving, etc. Find beauty in everything, even in torn rags, constantly theorizing and modifying statements. There are patient. Whenever you ask something and you give your statement, they do you feel like this? He will certainly modify the statement. He will never uh, accept that it is okay in all respect. If it is even so, he will modify it. False philosopher, Dr. Kent says, sulfur patients are false philosophers. They are mostly dis most disorderly, filthiest, most selfish, most unclean person in society. Think themselves the great, greatest men on earth, though ignorant, despise literary men and education whips easily or without any reason and worse from consolation if you want to give him console consolation if you want to console him he will go angry dull difficult thinking misplaced words cannot find proper words when talking writing childish business in rigid hopeful dreamers mean prying easily excited foolish happiness and pride everything they take fancy to seem beautiful even if it were a torn fish of cloth or oh, that is thing the drag philosopher selfish obstinate tired of life strong impulse to commit suicide by drowning this particular symptom is seen or other is displayed in many diseases strong impulse to commit suicide by drowning leaping from a window or epileptic feet in epileptic feet worse during menses <laughs> on the right side there is a image uh, this has been it is written above the image that this is how a homeopathic student imagines his friend's face after reading sulfur mental general symptoms are continuing aversion to do any work physical or mental fault finding absent-minded sad tired of life as if bed were too small to hold as if swinging, standing on a wavering ground, chronic chorea after suppressed eruptions. You know, chorea, chorea is uh, actually disorder of movements and deeply it is a, in fact a disease from uh, nervous system, a disease of central nervous system where the patient's legs, feet, hands, etc are moved in a disorderly fashion and uh, if it is look overall you can feel that he is dancing or she is dancing but it is not dance it is just involuntary contraction or disorderly movement of the organs <laughs> i mean limbs physical genus of sulfur redness of all orifices of the system redness of a single part nutrition is affected not due to quality of food but due to fault in assimilation patients emaciate despite voracious eating most important medicine for a chronic case to start with or to close an acute case or to elicit reaction of the system when carefully selected medicine fails child looks like a dried 
little old man, big head, big belly, thin limbs. On the right side, at the bottom, the particular type of child looking old man is displayed and above it, the chorea. Physical channels are continuing. Induration of tissues from constant pressure, corns, bed sore, bunions. Patients are generally stoop shouldered, tall, lean, untidy, and body emanates offensive effluvia despite washing. That is, if the patient washes his body well, even after some bad offensive odor comes out of his body. Everything affects epigastrium. Epigastrium, uh, I will show uh, which part is epigastrium. Burning in vertex holes. Vertex I will show. Chronic alcoholism, dropsy and other elements of drunk arts, ill effects of fall, blow, pain, sun. Never well since last chest trouble. Coal miners affections. Weak, faint spells during the day after nursing or night watching with deep sleepiness. First part of the uh, symptom relates to ladies. Weak, faint spelling during the day after nursing. This is the ladies symptoms. And night watching or deep sleepiness after that is weak, faint feeling. This is for all. Standing position very much uncomfortable. Sulfur patient do not want to stand. I mean, cannot stand. They are standing position. They are very, very difficult for them. On the right hand side, this is a bunion. Bunion is in actually inflammation or swelling of the base of the great toe. This place is called epigastrium. This place, epigastrium just below the sternum there are nine slots in abdomen this is called epigastrium and this is vertex general aggravation and ameliorations worse suppression birthing milk being heated over exertion in bed by woolen garments atmospheric changes talking 11 am climacteric full moon standing stooping sweets looking down from above crossing running water, vaccination, and so on. These are the factors which make sulfur patient worse. Better from open air, walking, dry, warm weather, dry heat, sweating, drawing up affected limbs. Head symptoms of sulfur. This is particular symptom of the beginning. Vertigo with headache, vertigo when stooping, vertex, hot, throbs, heavy, sore, pain, chills, pressure, etc. ascends from the nape to vertex. I will show what is nape and what is vertex again. Sick headache recurring periodically every Sunday preceded by photopsia. Headache as if a band around the head or pain in deep brain. Hot head with cold feet. Now, what is nape of the nape? This is the nape. Na this is called nape of the neck and vertex. This all addition, this, this area is called vertex, brain in this area, vertex. Photopsia, actually photopsia is a uh, affection of vision field, either in one eye or both eye, where the patient sees some floating objects, some flickering in front of eyes. This is like this, photopsia. This is caused by retinal detachment, uh, vitreous detachment, age-related macular degeneration, and so many reasons. Head, uh, then cold feet, okay. Uh, head hot, cold feet. Hair dry, cold, hard, falling off. Worse from washing, show it is scalp, head bent forward when walking. Fontanelles of children remain open too long. Fontanelles. This is fontanelles. The portion of fontanelles in the head or other scalp is devoid of any bone. This is just a skin. As the child grows up, 
generally this is covered by hard bone bony part but at the time of birth it is remain it remain open open and generally within few months it is covered up but in some cases it remains open too long and sulfur may be required in that cases hydrocephalus with convulsions hydrocephalus means actually accumulation of water in a uh, sera space of the brain coatings you know in then brain there are three coatings pia meter rura meter arachnoid meter red voice with pupils dilated eye symptoms of sulfur burning cutting as if there were sand in eyes painful inflammation of foreign bodies in eyes retinitis retinitis this is retinitis inflammation of retina this is taken from ophthalmoscope the view from overuse of eyes bursting in eyeball hello about light this is looks like this is the hello about light photophobia the person cannot tolerate artificial light keratitis inflammation of the cornea cornea looks like ground glass sty tarsal tumor this sty and tarsal tumor we see generally on eyelids lids along the edge of eyelids we see small tumors they are either tarsal tumor or sty agglutination of lids only oily tear eczema of the lids and trachoma trachoma is uh, infectious uh, bacterial inflammation of eye infectious bacterial inflammation of eye start which starts with very minor symptoms like itching small little pain but ultimately it may cause blindness even and according to medicine this is a uh, disease which cause um, blindness worldwide here symptoms of sulfur purulent opacity discharge offensive discharge otorrhea cataract discharge every eighth day ears very red in children deafness preceded by over sensitiveness to hearing worse after blowing nose after eating sensation as if sound does not come through the ear but through forehead no symptoms of sulfur blocked on alternate sides fluent burning coriza worse out of doors better indoor tips of the nose alanesi red solen worse in cold epistaxis worse at night lying on right side freckles and black pores on nose frequent sneezing this is freckles black pores nose face symptoms of sulfur pale sickly old looking face cheeks with circumscribed redness lips bright red upper lip burning dry rough cracked swollen veins on forehead acne mumps this is swollen veins on the forehead mumps you know inflammation of parotid glands salivary gland just placed uh, beneath our ears mouth symptoms of sulfur sensitive tender teeth jerking shooting throbbing pain in teeth gum swollen bleeding tongue with red tip and borders dry and quivering taste sour sweet bitter foul in the morning apthe apthe and thrush in mouth with profuse saliva apthe thousands ulcers this is this is a picture of a thrush in the mouth throat symptoms sensation of a lump or something solid plugged in throat a ball seems to rise and close the pharynx throat looks red swollen dry stomach symptoms abdomen symptoms of sulfur diarrhea hurried early morning changing mushy foul painless watery grayish frothy worse for milk diarrhea of infants with pale face profuse sweating drowsiness half of an eyes spasms of limbs redness of anus with itching very important symptom redness of anus with itching of child of child wake up scream colicky babies involuntary stool on sneezing laughing with emission of flutters big belly with emaciated limbs odor of stool follows despite 
passing well. That is, odor of stool is all pervading the area. Diarrhea alternates constipation, habitual constipation. Abdomen very sore, sensitive to pressure, stitches in splenic area and liver area, worse coughing or deep inspiration. This is liver, liver area. Liver area actually it covers the uh, right hypochondrium and splenic is the left hypochondrium region. More or less in the, act to, according to nine quadrants of the abdomen, it is in the left side, it is in the right side. Though my liver is also extended to some extent on the middle and slightly left. Abdomen should have sulfur. Biliary colic that is continuing. Biliary colic, chronic or relapsing jaundice. Abdomen heavy, as if a lump within, as if something moving alive. Colic after eating or drinking, obliging to bend double. Worse from sweet things. Bearing down pain in rectum with urge to itch. Hemorrhoidal habitus. During pregnancy, piles, external, internal, big bunches that are sore, tender, raw, burn, bleached, and smart. Big bunches, money, big bunches of piles. Piles actually out to admin exterior piles looks like a branch of uh, grapes if they are uh, happen to be multiples and uh, to hold back for pain hold back for pain hold back for pain means the patient hold back stool for pain in the anash this is the actually image of external hemorrhoids and internal hemorrhoid internal hemorrhoid you cannot see from outside then you have to see with the, with the help of a proctoscope but external hemorrhoid recognition these hemorrhoids if there are multiple external hemorrhoids then it will it will be seen like a bunch of grapes here. Urinary symptoms helper, sudden urge, must oblige, itching, burning in urethra during mixturation, lasting long after, frequent urination at night, involuntary urination while passing flatus or coughing, bedwetting of scrofulous anterior children. Scrofulous means actually the children who, who has inherited uh, diabetic dyscrasia from his uh, lineage copious colorless urine with greasy particles on it with mucus and pus painful ineffectual efforts to urinate retention stream thin intermits very cold sorry, every cold settles in the bladder male genital symptoms of sulfur prepu stiff hard like leather with great amount of fetid smegma causing itches now prepuce means the foreskin or other skin covering the male penis uh, that has become stiff and hard like leather and smegma is a uh, semi solid actually soft um, exudation accumulated just under the uh, rim of the glans penis uh, smegma also uh, is there in case of male female Discharge of prostatic fluid after urination and stool, seminal emission on simply touching or sight of a woman, semen colorless, what is exhausted feeling in the morning after seminal emission, backache and weakness in limbs after coition with sadness, irritability, hydrocele. Hydrocele is accumulation of water within the uh, within the scrotal sac actually, and this every scrotum we have got two testes in a scrotum. The testis has got two linings, two serous lining. Within those linings, water accumulates and that is called the hydrocele. This is hydrocele. Testis hang low, seminal emission with burning in urethra, pain is cold with weakness in sexual power, impotence, testis indurated, fitted, sweat on genitalia. Female genital symptoms of sulfur, breast and uterus develops imperfectly. Note, this is develop imperfectly means this is a developmental uh, error. It can be also uh, tackled by sulfur. Sulfur is such a deep acting medicine. Cancer of breast and uterus. Cancer of breast and uterus. Uh, the images have been shown in some. Uh, this is a this is the picture of cancer in the breast. 
There's two types of breast has been shown. This is fatty breast. This is fibrous breast. Fibrous breast, it is difficult to see the in the picture. It is very difficult to see the, the seat of cancer. But in case of fatty breast, it is clearly seen. And this is a breast. This is a accumulation of and this is occurring of cancer in the endometria of the uterus. Offensive genitals and offensive sweat on thighs. Separation of menses from slight physical, slight physical or mental excitement. Amenorrhea and prolapse of uterus. Valva and vagina burn. Each sore. Worse from sitting. Cannot keep still. Sore feeling in vagina during coition. Bearing down pain in pelvis towards genitals. Worse from standing. Menses irregular, too late, scanty, short, thick, foul, black. Acrid, making parts sore. Liquidia, yellowish mucus, burning and excoriating. Troublesome itching of vulva and pimples all around. Sharp burning in breast. Nipples cracked around base. Smart burn and bleed. After nursing, pain extends to breast. After nursing means the mother is nursing his child with breast milk. And that is nursing. And after that type of nursing, he feels a pain which extends to back from breast. Perpural sepsis. Perpural sepsis means septic state of septic uh, state of septic fever actually that comes in a mother just after delivery. Uh, after, not just not a few days after delivery with high fever, profuse sweat on whole body with tenderness of abdomen and drowsiness. So you see this sulfur can be used in so many critical state of uh, physics, I mean physical state, physical uh, disease state rather. In fact, sulfur has got numerous application, numerous application. This is the symptoms of sulfur. Shooting pain in chest, extending to back, worse on coughing, lying on back and deep breathing, neglected pneumonia, difficult respiration, nightly suffocative air hungers. Once door and windows open, irregular breathing, deep hoarse voice, cough violent in two or three incomplete bouts, tickling as from down in larynx, much rattling of mucus and heat in the chest was at 11 a.m. 11 a.m. was of 11 a.m. is a very very characteristic symptom of sulfur. Pain backwards from left nipple, pleuritic exudation. This is pleura. This is pleura. Pleura is the covering of lung. There is a dual covering. Within the space, water accumulates. It is called pleuritic exudation or pleural effusion. Uh, there is teaching pain in the um, field by the patient, and his respiration will be short. His breathing will be in difficulty. There will be fever. There will be chill. These are the actually uh, pleurisy, a precursor of tuberculosis. But pneumonia is pneumonia is something else. Not pneumonia is the inflammation of the pneumons. Pneumons means the uh, ultimate uh, terminal cells of lung, that is alveoli. In the alveoli, uh, exudates from inflammation accumulates. Thereby, the patient cannot get enough air. And this is pneumonia and this is a very severe and serious disease of lung. Particularly, you know, in this uh, presently COVID uh, the climate is going on this COVID one of the complication of COVID is pneumonia greenish sweetish there is greenish sweetish purulent expectation expectation of so many times greenish sweetish purulent with sensation of burning and coldness in the chest extended in the face asthma preceded by cold every time feeling of weakness in the chest while talking violent cough with headache Worse from lying on back. Heart symptoms of sulfur. Felt too big. That is heart felt too big. Palpitation. Worse from lying at night. In bed. Going up in stairs. Or like. Tachycardia in morning compared to evening. That is heart rate in the morning is more compared to evening. Pericarditis with effusion. Pericarditis. This is a image of a heart diagram very simple and the heart is covered with two layers of pericardium 
serous layer of pericardium. Within these two pericard pericardial layers, there is a space. This is called pericardial space. Fluid accumulates there, or other common words, water accumulates there. This is called pericardial effusion. Pericarditis means inflammation. Inflammation of the pericardium. After inflammation, the fluid accumulates. That is effusion. Just similar to uh, in case of lung, pleural effusion. Similar. There is also pleural sac. There is pleural layers. Within the layers, water accumulates. Here, within the pericardium, water accumulates. Sharp pain goes behind shoulders, between the shoulders. Neck and back symptoms are similar. Neck muscles weak. Child cannot hold head erect. Neck stiff. Sensation as if vertebrae glide over each other and crack on bending backwards. Aching between scapulae. As a result of back pain, walks bent and straightens up after moving some time. Supports body weight on hands when sitting. During stool, pain in coccyx, small of back, that is lumbar fifth vertebra. Aches during urination, spine curved, lordosis, kyphosis, scoliosis. Now, the images. This is uh, this portion is called coccyx. Just above the coccyx is the sacral bone, and just above the sacral bone, that is here, L5 is L5, the lumbar fifth vertebra. That is called small of back. X during urination and during stool, coccyx X. This is coccyx. Carved spine, there are three types actually, lordosis, kyphosis, scoliosis. These are the uh, simplified picture. Just um, remember, this is straight picture. This is side, sidewise picture. This is also sidewise picture. This is called lordosis, where the waist, waist is forwarded and back portion and the many back portion is slightly bent backward. This is lordosis. Kyphosis, kyphosis may be, um, this is kyphosis actually. Kyphosis means where the top, I mean the thoracic portion is carved heavily. Thoracic portion is carved heavily. There are three actually carved. Number one carb is above, that is cervical carb, then thoracic carb, then lumbar carb. This thoracic carb is heavy in case of kyphosis. And scoliosis may be on the left side, this spine carved on the left side or spine carved in the right side. These are all actually development defect. These are all development defect related to, uh, related to tubercular uh, dyscrasia, rather scrofula. We say scrofula and if it is given, I mean sulfur is given in the early stage of his development, that is when the age of the patient, the age of the child actually say one year or six months or maximum two years, this can be repaired automatically. Otherwise in late ages, this will be permanent. Then there will be no change except some surgical intervention or other intervention. But through medicine, it can be cured if it is tried in the early stage. This is actually uh, scrofulous dyscrasia, tubercular infection, dyscrasia due to tubercular infection. But this is curable with the help of sulfur. Extremity symptom of sulfur. Heaviness in shoulder, so it in armpits, smell like garlic. Left arm nerve worse on lying, fingers nerve, numb, palms dry, burn, crack, peel, eczema, and what's on palms. Cramps in calf, calf muscle, you know, hamstring, lift, tense, soles burn, wants them uncovered at night, unsteady gait. The image of hamstring has been shown above. Hamstring muscles are actually lying just behind our thigh bone, and uh, actually they are a, a group of muscles, biceps, femoris, semitendinous and semimembranous. These are called, collectively called hamstring muscle lying in behind our thigh bone. 
Tuberculosis of knee and hip joint. Soiling of joint with hydroarthrosis. Hydroarthrosis. That is accumulation of water in the joint space. Joint stiff. Tremulous sensation enhanced. Ulcer around nails. Whitlow with rapid soiling of fingers. This is Whitlow with rapid soiling of fingers. Redness, stiffness with excessive burning, stitching. Skin symptom of sulfur. Eruptions of every kind. Sulfur. In sulfur, we can treat, we can see eruptions of all kinds actually. Skin dry, rough, wrinkled, scaly, itching, voluptuous itching, violent words at night, violent words at night, in bed, scratching and washing, unhealthy, breaks out, festers, would not heal, burning when scratched, painfully sensitive to air, wind, washing. Eruptions alternate with other complaints like asthma, boils, eczema, erysipelas, excoriation and folds. Varicose veins, ulcerate, rupture and bleed. You know varicose vein. Varicose vein is a uh, disease of the vein where the veins get tortuous, thick and uh, it is a very incredible type of disease, varicose vein. It is generally seen in the uh, lower limbs. In the lower limb generally seen it can be nicely treated with sulfur because sulfur can treat the, the ulceration of the varicose vein when it is ruptured when it is bleeding in all th three phases sleep symptoms of sulfur heavy and depressing sleep with drowsiness then migraine drowsy by day wakeful at night no deep quality sleep sleeps in cat naps only Talks, jarks, starts, screams during sleep, sings during sleep or wakes up singing, vivid dreams, remain impressed on the memory. Fever symptoms of sulfur, remittent fever, hectic fever, septic fever, purpural fever. Chills spread up back, flashes of heat, feel too hot, heat with general throbbing between scapulae. Between scapulae, uh, this, is, this is the uh, area. Uh, this is the area of between scapula. This is this triangular bone. This triangular bone is called actually scapula. Within this space, the space between the two scapula is called scap interscapular region or scapula between uh, region with between scapula. Show it on single parts in axilla, hands, feet. Profuse show it at night with odor of sulfur. Show it without relief. Complementaries: aconite, alo, aloe. I mean. Sucutrina aloe or aloe sucutrina, arsenic, bale, belladonna, calcarea car, mark sol, nux form, pulsatilla, pyrogen, rastoxigodendum, sepia, sulfur, iode. Related medicines, graphitis, selenium, sorium, surinum, and cephalinum. With this, the, uh, this video ends. Thanks for listening and viewing. If there is any question, 